strangers in the night Exchanging glances, wandering in the night What were the chances we'd be sharing love Dave, Dave Ollington, Before the another fantastic guy You know, I've got nothing but good memories about Dave um, I met Dave um, when I was in between somewhere to live and uh, I was uh, virtually homeless to be honest and I, I answered a local advert in the paper and I rang him up and um, I was lucky to catch him because he was forever practicing and rehearsing and uh, doing all his promotional material and um, I went down to, to view the room, you know, it, it was advertised as uh, a delightful uh, rear of the house room, uh, natural sunlight uh, in a cosy household um, and yeah it was, it was a fantastic room um, and, and uh, I was very, very, he welcomed me with open arms to be honest because uh, um, he was that kind of guy, you know, he shared everything, you know, he, it was biscuits to be had, he said, Gaz, have a biscuit, no problem. Gaz, I'll do your washing up. Gaz, this, that and the other. He was a fantastic guy. And um, I've got nothing but fond, fond memories of Dave, you know. And I know at the time he was, he was struggling with his um, singing career. I mean, going back uh, oof, maybe 15 years now, uh, but he was unknown. And, uh, and uh, I mean, I'd, I'm sure he won't mind me saying that he was a little bit overweight you know and uh, look a bit uh, not, not as fit as he is these days I mean my god have you seen his pictures recently you know he's for a you know he's a, he's a fine 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 example of a man at his peak and um, yeah we, we you know we used to go out running uh, you know, we worked on his fitness with him and uh, we, we played our game of squash um, but most of the fitness was running and press ups you know and we, we used to go for running the park that was behind his house um, come back with a tuna, tins of tuna between us, uh, just one tin. And um, you know that that you know the weight came off, and and you know he the odd sunbed here and there. And before he knew it, he was uh, you know confident, strong, and raring to go. You know, and uh, so then we asked, I said to him, "Get a day, can I, can, is it alright if I come out with you on a night? See what see what sort of show you're putting on and that." You know, we went up to Cleethorpes and Blackburn and Bloody St. Helens, and um, pitiful, pitiful. I remember one night he forgot to take his leads with him. He had, we had to steal a lead off the back of the um, one arm bandit to get his power to his amp. And did he? He sang. I think he sang that night to three drunken guys in the corner, and. Uh, you know, I think Dave ended up crying into his beer that night. And uh, anyway, we you know, we worked at it and we got a repertoire going. And uh, I became his full-time roadie. You know, I'd set up for him. He'd he'd relax and chill at the bar. You know, to get his head together and have a pint. And uh, I was on lemonade because I was driving, of course. And um, and he got his act together. You know, and, and we look at him now. He's absolutely fantastic. You know. And uh, I remember one night he said, "Guys, do you fancy doing one?" You know. So um, the only song I knew was Crazy Little Thing Called Love, and uh, so I did it. And uh, I think, and this is where it started to get all a bit nasty because it went, it, I went down really well, you know. And and uh, I remember people coming to the um, to the events, to the venues, and saying, "Where's Gaz? Where's Gaz?" And Dave, Dave used to say, "Who? Who?" And uh, I think the jealousy started to creep in then, you know. And, so we used to warm them up and Gaz used to come on and do his number and uh, they couldn't wait to get him off and of course the show wasn't the same after that so um, that's where it all started to go wrong really so Gaz had to leave and he left a note on the table and said enough's enough and um, well the rest is history you know Dave's gone on to major major stardom and Gaz well, well that's another story so uh, all the best Dave mate and uh, I wish you all the best and I look forward to seeing you at Christmas. Okay? If you ever need me, you know where I am. <laughs>